So today I got this thing. It is called the Air Mouse Z10. Um, I've played with some of these before, and I'm actually kind of curious about this one. Um, they they were just like, hey, come check this one out. If you guys are interested in this one, make sure you guys shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. Also, check the description below. I will have this guy um, available. So rojasentertainment at gmail.com if you want this one, or check the description for a link. That way you guys could get yourself hooked up. It's supposed to work for projectors, Android TV, HTPC, PC, smart TV, tablets, um, some of the main features, it says air mouse function, full keyboard, voice remote, fully backlit, gyroscope motion, anti-missing patent technology. It's great on 2G, 10 meter distance. So it says simply just USB plug and play and then infrared remote control support. So let's go ahead and check this one out. I'm actually very, very excited about this guy to see how it's going to work. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up and very very simple you do get some some reading material here it kind of tells you some shortcuts a um, couple different languages and it gives you just some tips and tricks that way you guys could use that now here is the cable this is going to be your charging cable so this is actually pretty nice now most of these remotes when it comes to these chargers they work pretty nice so uh, you're going to need your own uh, power supply so keep that in mind also now this is usb um, it looks like you won't be able to use this for a fire stick i won't recommend this for fire stick for your nvidia shield this will be just fine and then here is the remote itself. Now, the one thing I absolutely love about this guy is that two tone right here. See how that looks like? It just, to me, it just looks really nice and feels really, really smooth right there. So some pretty good stuff right there. Now to turn this guy on, there is a power off and on button here. So if you do turn it on, first thing you'll notice is the lights are turned on right there. So that's pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all my lights here. That way you guys could see that a little bit better. So very, very bright, very, very nice here. Same thing here. So if you hold it here, everything turns on so and then if i flip it over everything turns on this side notice the other side is actually off so that's actually pretty cool that it detects it like what where i'm at right there so very very neat how it does that smart functionality now of course you got your power button right up there here's going to be your volume down volume up that is your microphone um, this is just going to be up down uh, left right okay button home reverse settings that's going to be your mouse and then your light so if this light is a little bit too bright for you you could turn it off right there off and on so pretty pretty nice and then for the back part you get a full-on keyboard here so you got your escape your caps shift your fn the fn key will highlight all those red things right there so all the numbers or your special characters that's kind of like your second set of keys so that's pretty nice um if you do the fn it does the control alt delete all together right there pretty cool up down left right you could also do uh, www.com here and it has some extra features right there so pretty neat i'm very curious to see how this guy will work on my nvidia shield to plug it in so let's go ahead and try that one out to see how it works okay so here we are here is the usb right there and then here is my port here for my nvidia show so let's plug this in okay so first thing is this thing is beeping and it looks like it just turned everything on here so okay so let's go ahead and click on this and yep yeah, looks like it's everything is working pretty good if i scroll down and i don't know if you guys can see that but there's a mouse hovering all over the place so that's this button right here if i click on that it should go away and then it'll disappear if i click on it again there is the mouse right there pretty cool now i do have my volume here so that should control the shield's volume now the, the one thing i did notice is i'm pointing in uh, uh, other directions and it's actually picking up everything pretty nice and easy right there if i do click on that voice thing the the voice thing it, it does pull up and it's starting to pull up whatever i'm going to say so i'm just going to hit that home button there and then again if i hit that settings button um, it's going to pull up all the settings. So everything actually works pretty nice here. Again, if you hit that button right there, I could actually turn off the light or turn on the light. And then I have my full keyboard right here. So that's pretty neat. Now, the other thing is if you do have this keyboard right here like this and you want to use that, that mouse right here, it's like a little scrolling pad. You actually see it right there moving around. So pretty cool. Another feature that you guys could, could mess with. So check that out see the mouse moving around 
So that's just with this pad right here. While I was playing with this thing too, the other thing I noticed is that up button didn't work going up for some reason. So the down worked just fine. These work just fine. Um, yeah, I don't know why it didn't want to work. It was it was kind of buggy a little bit, but for me to get back up to the top, I just had to hit the home button. But other than that, this thing worked pretty good. You, you could be able, you, like you should be able to use it on your computer also. So it seems like it's going to be one of those like all in one. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I would say is, is make sure that up button does work when you are getting one of these things. For some reason, everything else worked except for that one button. So the first thing I would do is full charge. Make sure you charge it right there and that's going to be your port. And then that's it. You also reach out to them. And if you have any issues with, with these remotes where a button might not work, that's what I would highly recommend doing. Just reach out saying, hey, this doesn't work. It could be something really simple like just charging it or maybe just swapping it out. You might have gotten a lemon. But for for this, this feels very comfortable to the hand. I really like how I could use the, the center portion right here as an actual uh, mouse pad. And, and it worked just like a mouse pad. So pretty nice and neat. Make sure you guys do hit me up if you guys are interested with this one. Um, again, these these remotes, this one feels really nice and premium. Very comfortable in the hand too. So as always, you guys take care, take care of each other. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.